Welcome to our lecture online. In this set of videos coming up now, starting with this one, we're going to talk about the derivative. The derivative is one of the first things you encounter in any calculus course, and so it really helps if you understand what a derivative really is. Well, a derivative can be defined in various ways, so let's try and look at some of those ways in which we can define a derivative. First of all, we can define the derivative as being the slope of a function. Remember in algebra when you had, for example, a linear function, y equals mx plus b? And so let's go ahead and write an equation now like that. If this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, we have some line that represents some function where we have y is equal to mx plus b. Well, this m, of course, in that equation represents the slope. And so what we're seeing here is that the derivative of this function is the slope of that function, is the slope of this line right here. So that means the steeper the slope, the bigger the derivative, the less steep the slope, the smaller the derivative. So the derivative actually represents the slope of a function. Now, of course, when we deal with a straight line function, that's very easy. We just simply say, ah, there it is, there's the slope, therefore that's the derivative. But of course, we can have functions that are not linear functions. We can have functions like quadratic equations, like this. And then you can see that the slope changes as we go to different parts of the function. Here you can see that the slope is negative. Here you can see that the slope is positive. And so therefore, we know then that the derivative represents the slope anywhere along this function. You say, well, how can you do that? Because here it's easy. The slope is just a single number, whatever the slope is. Here it'll vary. It changes. And so therefore, when we talk about the derivative, we have now the ability to find the slope anywhere along any function, regardless of what that function is. So again, that's one way to, de to define a derivative. It's the slope of a function. We can also de define the derivative as defining how fast something is changing. For example, we can have a function that re represents position and the derivative of that will represent how fast that position is changing. In that case, we're talking about the velocity of something. A derivative can also be defined as being the change of one variable with respect to another. For example, in this case, the slope defines how fast y is changing with respect to x. So we want to find how fast the function y is changing with respect to the, the what we call the independent variable. So y is the dependent variable, x is the independent variable. We define the change in y with respect to x. And that's another way in which we can define a derivative. A derivative defines if something is increasing or decreasing. So another function of derivative tells you whether or not the increase is positive or the increase is negative. For example, here we have a positive slope, so therefore we can say that the function is increasing in a positive manner. It's increasing. Here the slope is negative, so there we can say that the function is decreasing. A derivative also defines if a maximum or minimum has been reached. Notice, if I look at this function right here, at some point the function reaches the lowest point possible. This would be considered a minimum. We could also have another function that looks like this, and at some point we will have reached a maximum value. Derivative can help us find the minimum and maximum values of a function. It's called the max or min. Another way in which a derivative can be used is it can, def it can be defined, uh, or a derivative defines when an increasing function changes to a decreasing function. For example, here we can say that the function is increasing, and here we can say that the function is decreasing. So, a derivative helps us figure out when a function is increasing and when a function is decreasing. Again, due to the knowledge of, of the derivative defining the slope of the function. And finally, we can say that the derivative of a derivative defines how fast the change is changing. So let me explain that one. So let's say that the derivative is the change of a function. Then the derivative of a derivative tells you how fast that change is changing. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. So the change can be increasing or the change can be decreasing. And so in the case of position and velocity, the change in velocity would be the acceleration. So the acceleration would be the second derivative of a first derivative. So the first derivative tells you how fast you're moving. The second derivative tells you how fast that velocity is changing. Therefore, it tells you how it's accelerating. So you can see that the derivative can take on a lot of meanings. 
So really what it comes down to is that derivative really helps you find the change of a function. Derivative tells you how fast something is changing. Of course, that can be represented all kinds of different ways. It can be represented by a slope, by some sort of equation, and so forth. But when it really comes down to it, a derivative defines the change in a function. And what calculus is all about, at least the first part of calculus, when you say calculus 1, is learning how to find the derivative of all kinds of different functions because that enables us to find the change of any number of functions. That's really what it's all about. And there's lots of applications, and of course in the videos to come in the future you'll see all the various ways in which we can apply the knowledge of how to find the derivative to solve all kinds of very practical problems. So hopefully that gives you a picture of what a derivative is. Now we're going to go through each one of those definitions and in more detail explain what a derivative is and how to calculate and find the derivative in various ways. And that's how it's done.